By now, most of you would have heard of China's wandering balloons, unless you are living under a rock. At first, China says there is no concrete evidence that the balloon belongs to China. Then, China says, yes, it is our balloon, but it is a civilian weather balloon. A weather balloon that happens to fly over multiple sensitive military sites. Anyway, China's military civil fusion strategy, Jinming Ronghe, highlighted the use of civilian technology and research for military applications. In 2018, China tested a civilian balloon with hypersonic missiles. China also claims that this was just an accident. If this was an accident, the US is pretty far away from China. China has plenty of time to call the US and say, Hey man, we have a wandering balloon, sorry about that. But of course, China didn't do that. The Chinese balloon also have propellers, which means the balloon can change its course. Chinese media went on to say the US is so weak, they couldn't even shoot down the balloon if they wanted to. That means that even if the US side wanted to shoot it down, which is what most people are calling for, they wouldn't be able to do so. So after the US shot it down, China says that the US violated international norms. Based on international law, every state has complete and exclusive sovereignty over the airspace above its territory. International law also states that an unmanned free balloon other than a light balloon shall not be operated across the territory of another state without appropriate authorization. And for a balloon to be classified as a light balloon, it needs to have a combined mass of less than 4 kg. A balloon the size of three buses is not gonna be less than 4 kg. Oh, and China wants its balloon back and threatens retaliation against the United States. And China also refused to talk to the US. Then, surprise, China played the UNO reverse card. So here's a quick recap. China says, how dare you accuse me without evidence. Then says, it is my balloon, but it's a weather balloon. It's an accident. Blames the United States. And says, don't talk to me because I'm angry. And then, blames the United States again. To be fair, the United States did spy on the Soviet Union, and an American U-2 spy plane was shot down over USSR. Later in 1992, the Open Skies Treaty allowed NATO and Warsaw Pact countries to spy on one another. China was never a part of this treaty. China also didn't lose any pilot. So why the hell are you whining like a baby? Oh, and now? More and more countries are starting to look for weather balloons violating their airspace. By the way, how can the US be warmongering when China is already engaging in unrestricted warfare? 超限战! <laughs>